Welcome back to the channel, Luxurious Fleet. In today's news, we're gonna talk a little bit about what Toyota is going to be doing with their factories here in America since they're gonna be closed down now till at least April 20th. And it's not all doom and gloom within the automotive industry. I will be touching on some a little bit better feeling articles after we touch upon repurposing of the Toyota plants here in America. Over at CNET, Toyota ready to build masks, face shields in North America. Toyota will 3D print face shields and it's nearly ready to manufacture. Much needed masks for the healthcare workers to fight you know what. And I can't say that word because I will get demonetized, so just keep in mind if I sound really weird. Here's an idea of what the masks could look like. You know, if there's a Toyota emblem inside of there, once this is all said and done, how cool would it be if I had one? like sitting in the back there, people be like, what the heck is that, man? What, why do you have like, why do you have a sneeze guard in the back of your video? But that would be cool. On Friday, the Japanese automaker said it's ready to start production of two critical pieces of medical gear in North America to help those on the front lines. Like Ford, Toyota said it'll begin mass market production of 3D printed face shields, and it's seeking a partner, partner to begin the production of masks. The company said it's ready to start mass production, but it needs a partner to supply filters that keep the virus particles at bay. When it comes to ventilators and respirators, Toyota said it's working with at least two undisclosed companies to produce both pieces of equipment. General Motors, Ford, and Tesla have all said they're working to quickly ramp up the ventilator production with partners and may even build the machines in-house. So it's good to see that they're contributing to the greater cause, fighting this uphill battle that we have across the world here. But like I said, let's not focus so much on that end because that's the way you guys probably all hear all day long, all the time is how this crazy thing is affecting our, our lives, really. Um, so let's go into a little bit more lighthearted news here. And over at Motor One, they came across uh, Woodworking Art, it's a YouTube channel where they craft tons of things. Um, it looks like it's based in Vietnam. And the latest video, they carve a somewhat operational Toyota Land Cruiser, and it is phenomenal. I'll post some pictures for you guys, but it is a beautiful piece of art. Goodness, I have no idea how much something like this would cost. My guess it would be several hundred, hundred dollars, maybe even a thousand dollars or something like this um, to have a wood replica of the Toyota Land Cruiser. Over at Motor Authority, Toyota Century by Wald is a boss luxury cruiser from Japan. It starts at $175,000, which they say, of course, it's, it's more than a fully loaded Lexus LS. Those are gonna be around maybe 140,000, a fully loaded LS. Wald's designs tend to follow the principles of minimalism, and that's certainly the case for its full body kit design for the century. The parts, which include stainless steel accents, help to visually lower the car, giving it a sportier look. The tuner also added its own set of wheels, which feature a pattern that looks like it might have originally been designed as a prop for Transformers movie. A subtle spoiler on the trunk lid rounds out the modifications. Um, it actually has an older power plant from the LS600 H or HL, depending on what part of the world you're in. Uh, it's the five liter, that's the two URGSE. I mean, looking at the pictures, this thing is a boss. It looks definitely along the lines of a Rolls Royce, in my opinion. It kind of has that stately look and classical luxury feel to it. Um, that body kit, I don't know if it's, you, I don't know how I feel about it. I definitely don't like the wheels. I think they're a little much. They don't look very luxurious to me at all. But the trunk lid spoiler, I think is a nice touch. And it does look pretty good from behind. And of course, from the front. But looking at it from the side, for some reason, it just looks a little off. I think the side skirts just don't look quite that natural on this vehicle. But I'm sure if I saw it in person, I'd probably, you know, drool at the side of it. And the last thing we're gonna talk about over at Car and Driver, Toyota Patton imagines robots to help with shopping. I'm not gonna dive into this one too much, but essentially it could be anywhere from a drone, um, a electric vehicle, it could even be a hydrogen fuel cell sort of vehicle. It could be a jet ski. It is essentially a shopping helper vehicle that can pick out items for you or follow you home. It's super bizarre. I don't think we're gonna see anything like this in the next 100 years, but who knows, I could be wrong. 
Uh, but at least Toyota's playing with it. And as you guys know, if you follow my channel or just follow Toyota, they're trying to become a mobility company to try to saturate every single market that requires mobility outside of the automobile industry because they know as a company they are limited there on how much they can expand. So what do you guys think of the news? I'll see you in the comments down below. Hopefully I see you more talking about the, the fun, lighthearted things I talked about in the video, but you're welcome of course to dwell on the masks and face shields and that crazy stuff that's going on. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until next time, peace out. Thanks for watching.